Get ready. It's time for a well-deserved break, Pittsburgh, with Heather Abraham and David Highfield. From the KDKA TV studios, it's Pittsburgh Today Live. Hey everybody, it is Monday. We're so happy that you're joining us. Heather is off, and we're so happy that Mikey Hood is well, joining I'm us. I'm happy that you're back because you were out a couple of days last weekend. Mm -hmm. We missed you so. so oh, well, thank you. It's a welcome a, back to you. Just a couple of days off. They were planned. It was just kind of fun to get things done, and yeah. you know, we didn't go anywhere. We just sort of. <laughs> but sometimes you need that because sometimes when exactly. you go somewhere, you need a vacation from your vacation. You're right. Yeah. yeah. So. But uh, how was your weekend? Nonetheless, uh, you know what? It was uh, it was really fantastic. I mean, I was it was nice. It was nice. I mean, I wish we could have a four day weekend every weekend because that's what I had. Uh, and I'm going to begin with a picture. Uh, so we went over to some friends and we were in charge of hors d'oeuvres. And <gasps> Gary did this. I didn't do this, but he is so good at this. So first off, over on the left hand side, he made the Parmesan crisps that he makes, where he drops Parmesan with rosemary onto uh, a, like a, a baking sheet, and then he bakes them and they're these little thin wow. crisps. So he didn't buy those. He made those. He made those. Not and then the blue cheese. I am a sucker for the blue cheese with the pears, and then you drizzle honey on top. That looks such a good. I combo. could just eat that plate right there for dinner. I know we didn't really need dinner. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, that but that. So, so anyway, I just wanted to share that. And then the next thing I'm going to share is Marvin. So my dad's cat Marvin. His new thing is he doesn't want to just sit on your lap. He wants to sit above you. So he wow. wants to like be on your shoulders or come up on the love seat behind you. To kind of watch you. He wants to watch <laughs> yeah. you. And then, so the one shot there is like there, uh, something came to the house in a big box at my dad's house. There it is. And so we made. He went into the box and he loved the box. It was sort of his little home. But now he doesn't stay in the box. He t has a rooftop terrace, is what I like to what? say, because he's <laughs> sitting on top of the box once again, sticking with the theme of I'm going to keep an eye on all of you. I like that idea. Marvin. Smart, you know, because he doesn't want anyone. He he just wants to make sure that he can see all angles That's at all times. In case anyone goes to the kitchen and there's any opportunity for possible <laughs> food, that's what so I think it's all about. Smart cat, he's yes. so cute. Um, and then I have to show you this because I didn't even realize that. I, St. Patrick's Day had come and gone, yeah. and I had not gotten a shamrock shake. So, is this a thing that you do here? I do like once, once a, a year, year. I get a shamrock shake. You know? I've never had one. Or, uh, I mean, oh apparently, they're good. Gosh, well, you know what? I mean, I was just surprised they're still serving them. I don't know how long they, they keep serving them, but I think it's sort of a limited time thing. Mm -hmm. So, we were able to get one. Maybe we'll get you one. I, I, I'm going to take you up on that okay. offer because I would not pass up a milkshake. After the show, especially Maybe a green there. one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then the last thing that I want to show you. All right, so this was a big mystery at our house. This seems so boring, but this turned into so every <laughs> Sunday night I do my shirts and I wash the shirts and then I iron the shirts and I use shout. Okay. So that's what I Wait, use on what the collar. Shout, shout takes like the the stains out or like of your around your collar oh, okay. if I get yeah, any yeah, stain yeah. on yeah. my shirt. So I couldn't find the shout, and I was like, all right, where did the shout go? Like and then I started thinking. Did Marvin take I it? So, well, no. <laughs> I started thinking like, did Gary borrow it and then forgot he borrowed it and didn't put it back? So, so and I need to apologize right now. It was not Gary. Because you bl you you blamed Gary. Like, you, well, you... I thought about it. You know, I was like, and then I started thinking, did someone break into our house and, and steal, steal the nothing shout. but the shout? And that that did not seem very probable. Uh, and then we went to I, I went to a grocery store and a drug store and they were out of shout. Wow! So this so, shout is in really high demand here. Well, the I people... I don't know what's going on. And then I started thinking maybe someone did break in and steal it. But then I found it. It was buried under the shirts that I was trying to clean. And so oh, that's good. All is good in the end. But that was <laughs> that tells you the level of excitement for my weekend. But I really did think at one point I started thinking. Did someone break into the house? I'm really <laughs> glad that that mystery was solved. David. It's been solved. All is good. How about your weekend? Well, it was good. You know, it, it started out. Uh, this is kind of all out of order, but one of the highlights of the weekend was Ron's birthday. Like, we went I out heard to that celebrate this was Ron's birthday. at Tequila Cowboy, and I mean, for me, this was like going clubbing. Like I thought <laughs> Tequila Cowboy was just a normal restaurant, but no, it is a club with like a full line of people waiting outside. So that's. Myself, my boyfriend Joran, uh, Ron, and his girlfriend Bethany, and then Daisy and her boyfriend. So we had 
a blast. Like it was, it was a good time. That's yeah. fantastic. And then this is. So was this Saturday night? This, this was about last night. This was night. Saturday night. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is. So I was gonna say <laughs> how Ron could stay up on a Saturday night. Yeah, I know. Night and and so this is Ron. The morning news. Ron and Bethany, and this is right before I took to the dance floor and did the uh, push it salt and pepper because we were in the '90s room because we were probably like some of the oldest people there at the club. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. So is there video of this? I, I hope not. And Ron, Ron also did the robot too. Like I witnessed that. Oh my and gosh! You can't tease us like that and no, not show us video. I didn't get video, but oh, okay. just trust and believe. He knows how to do it okay. very well. Yeah. So well, that was good. So he's over there <laughs> laughing right now. And so he can uh, do it better than me. <laughs> and so I, I think this was Saturday morning. Uh, my boyfriend, his sister, uh, we went to a grand opening. She opened up a home health care. Uh, business and it's also like a mentoring business too, and that's um, Malik there. So that's Lydia and Malik, and so we were in Arnold, PA, and they had oh, yeah. the grand opening, the ribbon cutting, and so we just you know went there to support. And so it seems Good like it's going to be a great organization. So it's called Authentic Home Care. I hadn't been to a grand opening in a while. Like I love the whole ribbon cutting ceremony. Yeah. This really feels like. And those are oh. big scissors, man. They so, are. <laughs> yes, those are scissors that you get for a ribbon cutting. Yes. So congratulations to them. It was pretty awesome. Yeah. And then of course, uh, my boyfriend Jordan and I, we went to dinner. That was Friday night. I'm all out of order there, so we went That's to okay. uh, Capitol Grill, and that was what really nice to be able to do. Yeah. Holding hands. It's funny there. that you said that because the oh, waiter like took it. that picture, and the table next to us, they gave us like a standing ovation, like they were clapping. Because oh, really? I guess they thought it was a good picture. So it is a good picture. Fun. It's a great picture. And I have to mention that I had the lobster mac and cheese. I go there for that, and then they just give you like a basket full of bread, like all different types of bread, and that's kind of so very low carbs there. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's I mean, wait, is this Capital bread. Grill? Is this that is what you Capitol said? Grill. Oh, I have had their lobster mac and cheese. <gasps> it's good, right? Oh, yeah. Have you had the basket of bread? No, you get no, no. I don't think they ever gave me the basket of bread. You have to go back. Okay. And get back. <laughs> it's like, where's my basket <laughs> yes. of bread? And I need one from the last time, yeah. and you didn't give it to me. Two baskets. <laughs> It was good. It was a good weekend, though. That sounds yeah. like a great weekend. That's much. Your weekend was far better than me no, you, hunting for the shout well, that's missing in the house. It was important. Like I'm glad you found it. I mean, no. <laughs> all right, we should talk about this. Yeah. So because you showed this to me, and I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? And then it, you said, it's for you, David. Yeah. On Friday, uh, Paint Monkey, uh, we interviewed them. They and were I love here, them. Mary Lou. Yeah, yeah. And her husband, and <laughs> they wanted to give this to you. They said it was Felix. And I love this. Yeah. This first off, this is way happier than Felix actually ever looks in real life. But this is cartoon Felix, and normally he has the acorn. He's already buried the acorn in our mm. potted plants, and so I've never seen him with the acorn. <laughs> this is like Felix's <laughs> alter ego, like happy Felix. I love it. There's thank like you bad so Felix. much. This was great. It's so cute. All right. so hang out out Joe there. and Mary Lou, Mary thank Lou. you very much, Felix. It's like a Disney Felix. Very cute. Hang that up in your in your bedroom. There you go. There we go. <laughs> All right. Hey, we want to let you know today is World Parkinson's Day. It is a day that raises awareness about Parkinson's. It's a progressive nervous system disorder. It really affects so many people. But Coffee Tree Roasters in our area, they're doing something very special, and we want to let you know about it. They are selling T-shirts uh, that was designed actually by the founder's daughter. Now, the, it's all in memory of the the founder, Bill Swoop, and uh, it raises money for Allegheny Health Network's Neuroscience Institute. And so, I think we have these t-shirts right over here. Becky has them in a bag. Do you have yeah, them in a bag, Becky? Just the R. Come on in, Becky. <laughs> Becky's Please. like, all right. <laughs> All right, all right, so I want to let you know about the t shirts uh, because Coffee Tree Roasters is doing this again. $25 at their locations, and it raises money. So, Bill Swoop was the founder, and he had a very rare form of Parkinson's. And so, they really have taken it on as their mission to try to raise money for other people. So, these t shirts are available beginning, starting today. And again, it was designed by Bill's daughter, the artwork oh, on them. Very so. nice t shirts. I, yes. you know, I was always, and we have coffee. It's here good with everything, but I just I remember when. Actor Michael J. Fox was diagnosed yeah. with Parkinson's, so I, I feel like that really brought light to the disease state, and uh, right. it, it's it, it's rough. Well, yeah. absolutely. I mean, mm -hmm. the people who deal with this, they are truly heroes because what they're dealing with, and, and Michael J. Fox has brought in so much attention to right, it. Right. But again, Coffee Tree Roasters starting today, you can stop in. Right, and today is also a special day for another reason. It's National Pet Day. 
Yay! <laughs> so it's really a day to celebrate your dog or cat or whatever your pet may be. So as you know, we just saw uh, photographs of Marvin. We love Marvin and mm -hmm. we love Wilson, we my sure dog. Do. And so I recorded this video uh, on Friday. So this is Wilson and I jamming here to uh, Shaggy Boom Bostic. <laughs> <laughs> my house. And I was asking the question, like, don't people, like, do this with their dogs on a regular basis? I mean, I know I do. We have dance parties all the time. I love that. And, and look I, at his tail yeah, wagging. He I mean, loves this. He's into it. I mean, sometimes he does, like, really dance. It was more of me dancing this time and him just looking at me like. <laughs> now, is he aware of the camera at all? You know what? I'm starting to think he is. Because see how he's giving like, yeah, the now, camera see, face right I, that's there? That's what I was yeah. asking. Like, he's not looking at you. Is someone holding the camera? Or is it like it's positioned just on a positioned, thing? It's positioned, yeah. Yeah, so there's so, no one he's looking at. No. Except his viewers on social media. He knows he has a fan base. Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm suspecting Marvin knows that too right now. So. You know, they're smarter than we they think. They are. Tonight is a big night on KDK. It's the CMT Music Awards. The show starts at 8 o'clock, and there are lots of big performances. Yeah, it's, it's one of the biggest nights. The reunion of the judge. Judds, for the first time in decades, the judges take the stage together. And the five time Grammy Award winning mother daughter duo of Naomi and Winona. And so they'll sing their hit, Love Can Build a Bridge. So listen to how Naomi is describing the performance. Yeah, a big honking deal. Um, Wits and glitz, glamour and clamor, flash and flare with mm, spunk despair. <laughs> love that yes. guy, A big honking deal yes. with like flash and I glamour. Love it. And I and loved her. Booms and sparks her hair. and flare. Did you oh, see that color? She looks great. Yeah. Yeah, she looks fantastic. So they're going to be reunited tonight, and there are also lots of other acts, and we're going to talk a little bit more about it later on in Pop Talk Live again tonight at 8 o'clock on KDK. But stay with us throughout the hour here because we'll be talking more about the I CMTs happening tonight. Award shows. I love them now. I feel like there's always something that's going to happen. Well, you no. Never know. You, well, you never know is right. <laughs> yeah. So tune in and find out what does happen. Well, hey, coming up here on the show, it's never too late to learn a new skill. Especially one that could keep you safe. And Daisy is showing us some self defense moves that are easy to learn and really too important to ignore. Plus, Earth Day is less than two weeks away, and there are several ways to go green, including your clothing. Sustainable fashion as part of Pittsburgh Fashion Week is coming up. And you know what else is coming up? Summer break. Yeah, it's not that far off. And if you're looking for ways to keep the kids busy, Heather has a great option. Have you heard of maker spaces? Well, she's showing us a brand new one that's about to open as we take you inside books and beyond. Oh, can't wait for that. It's Monday, April 11th, and we're so glad you're starting your week here with us.